Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and today, um, yes indeed, a puzzle called, I think rather brilliantly called REMBAN or R-E-M-BAN, which features um, a certain number of rules to do with three in the corner and, uh, and in the spotlight <laughs> and some REMBAN lines. Now, um, this may be uh, irregular Sudoku day or non non three by three box day on the channel because I think Simon's puzzle has also featured um, irregular shapes. Although actually I don't get shapes in this, I just get uh, no no boxes, no regions, which is going to make things very fiddly, I suspect, um, in this puzzle. Anyway, we will get to that point later. Now let's have a look at Patreon where. Not only have we got Alice in Sudoku Land by um, Panthera and Monty Knox and the Asylum. Brilliant set of puzzles based on Japanese some Sudoku. Do give it a try. There are prizes if you uh, get any three solutions to that by the 20th of the month. And if you get them all done by the 10th, you get a shout out on the channel in theory, as long as there's not far, far too many of you. Anyway. Um, well done to all those who've finished those already. But also on that Patreon, we have Simon's solve of a one a rather brilliant listener crossword from last year by Aragon. Um, it really is an excellent, excellent puzzle that I highly recommend you have a look at some of the video. You might not want to watch all the individual clue solving, or you might, but um, it really is interesting. I think he's called it something like how electronic aids help you solve crosswords. So... That's for our Patreon members. Um, it's a great club to join. Uh, do subscribe to this channel as well. Do buy our merchandise. Some people do. And, uh, and wear it with pride, I understand. And do also think about getting hold of our apps because they are great um, entertainment sources, teaching aids. They're very good to while away a few minutes when you're somewhere else uh, with your phone. Anyway check them all out on the link side of the video. I am going to be looking. So Marty Sears has featured on the channel two or three times before, I think has been solved by both myself and Simon. Um, and this puzzle, yes, as I said, it doesn't feature three by three boxes or any regions at all. And I think what that's going to lead to is that you will be shouting at me a lot for something that you think is obvious. But there's going to be a lot to look at in, in this puzzle as to where the digits go. That would, maybe not, but I'd be very surprised if it didn't pan out that way. Now, let's read the rules because they're fabulous. One to nine must be placed in each row and column. So we do at least have a, a Latin square. One to nine in every row and column. No threes are allowed in the corner cells, that's here, or in the spotlight, which is the white central area. So... There is no three in the corner or in the spotlight, losing its religion. Clearly a reference, as we so often do, to the R.E.M. song, Losing My Religion, where the lyrics are actually, that's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight, losing my religion. Um, a purple line. These are Renban lines. They contain a set of non-repeating consecutive digits in any order. So we could have one, two, three, four, five, six on this line, or... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but in any order. Diagonally adjacent identical digits are connected by an equal sign. So those two are the same. All such possible signs are given. That's a big old negative constraint. So these two can't be the same because they would have an equal sign. Those two, those two. I mean, yeah, that's quite big, I think. Well, certainly let's bear it in mind. Um, otherwise, all we get is three given digits, a few of these Renban lines, and this bizarre rule that only applies to threes. Give it a try if you fancy it on the link under the video. You might want to check the video length first. Um, I am going to start now and see how we get on. So, where on earth do you start? Okay, well you can start with the fact that, what is this? This is an eight cell Renban line. So, it's either a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's always going to have the digits 2 to 8 on it. One of those is 6. And this 6 can't appear in any of those cells, or indeed that one, because there's effectively a king's move rule, apart from in those two cells. 
and that means 6 can't be here because it there would be an equal sign so 6 is in one of those cells in column 1 and on that Renban line and that doesn't really get me very far at all I mean I can see it is going to mean that 6 is on this line somewhere here and therefore not in that cell but that is not worth pencil marking <laughs> I don't know. What on earth do we do? Do we use the three rule? Let's just briefly colour the cells where three cannot be. So let's make those blue. Three can't be there because that's by rule. Three also can't be in this central spotlight within the grid, which is an excellent concept, by the way. Well done, Marty. Ah, right. Three is going to be on all of the longer lines. Uh, no, not that one actually necessarily. It might be, but it might not. But it's definitely going to be on these because they're seven cells long. So they can only miss one, two, eight, nine, or one, nine. They can't miss three. So three is on one of these lines and not in the blue area. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a three in one of those cells. And the same is true for this line, which is the mirror image, exactly the same length. There must be a three on the end of it. And these threes on the ends of the lines, one of them is going to be in row five and one of them is going to be in column five because whichever, wherever you put a three, it's going to keep it out of the other. So now these cells can't have a three in. Um, ah, look, this is perfect. Right, it can't be those two because they're on the same line. So the only two combinations of threes on these longer lines that are possible are that one and that one. But if we look at this one, we couldn't suddenly put three anywhere on this line thanks to the three in the corner rule. Threes there would eliminate all of these cells if you use the king's move, the three in the corner and the normal directional rules. So those are not the threes. The threes are a pair that are in these cells, and we've got digits in the grid, and that's three on the end of the line. Right, let's keep on marking off cells that can't be threes. Oh, I'm going to include the given digits. They're definitely not threes. I only just thought of that now. So, we don't have that many digits left that can be three. In this column... Ah, and in this column, we've got three, mu three must be in the top of the column in the in the top domino. So that is an X wing of threes. This Renban line must have a three on, so the digits can be selected from two, three, and four. And because of the X wing of threes, we're using up the threes in rows one and two, and we can rule out all of these others. Now, if this line has a three on it, and three of the possible four fills do, it must go there. Um Oh, that's not a three. I don't know why I've left it as possibly a three. Oh, there's got to be one on this Renban. Oh, there's got to be one on this Renban as well. Okay, I don't know where th three is on one of those two ends of that Renban. And all I know about that is it rules out this cell because whichever one is a three, that one isn't. That's quite interesting for this line, which must now be either four, five, six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it has four, five, six. No, it has five, six, seven, and eight on it. These ones can't be seven because of that seven. Oh, that one too. Oh, so seven is definitely in one of these two cells. Now, keep going on threes. Look, we've got... Ah, oh, yeah, we've got it again. Rows four and six, just like columns four and six. All of those are blue. So threes are forming an X-wing in these two cells. And that means there's no threes in any of these cells in columns one and two. And that includes this one. So the only three on this longer Renban line is here. That's ruling out those two... Um, we've got this, that's a sort of double X-wing, well, mm. uh, okay, one of these two is a three, that is going to be the three for this line, 
So that is not a 3. That's going to mean that's not a 3. These two definitely are. 6 has now got confined down to two places. This can't be a 3 on the king's move rule, and that is going to get us resolved. So those two become 3s for their row and column, respectively. That's not. This now is touching that 3, so there we go. We've got all... Let's just remove the corner marks and the central marks. Put 3s in there. That's all the 3s done. I'm now going to take out all the colouring because I've used it. And we're back to the yellow and the spotlight. Right. Now I just mismarked that. That's two or four with that three. This three is on a Ren band connecting with something from one, two, four, and five. This doesn't have a three on now. We've placed all the threes in the grid, and there are none on this line. So that is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is forming a virtual X-Wing on all of 5, 6, 7, and 8 with this other region. Oh, so all the 1s and 2s in the grid are not... Like, I'm just going to colour those orange for now. Uh, not orange. Let's go green. There we go. No, let's... <laughs> green. Sorry, messes colourblind. Right. Red. Ones and twos are not in the red section because three can't be on that Renban line and it's not on that one either. So ones and twos in column seven have to be in those two cells. Um, ones and twos in column eight have to be in those three, which isn't quite so straightforward unless, yes, this cell can't be a one and it also can't be a two. Do you see, for a very neat reason, that it would leave this cell unfillable? Because it would, on the Renban line that it's on, it would have to be one or three. So that can't be one or two. So the only places for one or two in the column are at the top and bottom. That's now a pair. Ah, and this can't be one or two, but I think it also can't be five now, because on this Renban line, we need them all to connect. So it's got to go four, three, two which resolves these ones and twos we were just placing. This is lovely, actually. This is flowing very neatly so far. That four sees that cell, so it's a two. This no king's, rule, no king's move rule is very useful in some respects. Now, what's this? This is the digit that isn't duplicated on this line. You remember we said five, six, seven, and eight were virtual X-wings. They're used twice in these columns here. So that's not 5, 6, 7, or 8. It's not 1, 3, or 2. That is 4 or 9, making this, which can't be a 3, either 5 or 8. And this is a... Well, I mean, this could have got a 6-cell Renban, because this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, just as that one is at the top. Very interesting puzzle. Um, that can't be a 3. So... I don't quite know what to do next. This line, um, it's got a 2 on it somewhere in those cells. Oh, yeah, I don't... What have we got in the top row? 5, 7, 8, and 9 still to place. Does that do anything here? Not really. This, right... Ah, this digit sees everything on this line. This is an 8-cell line. It's either the numbers 2 to 9 or 1 to 8. And this digit is the one set of 1 to 9 that is not on this line, because it can't be in any of those cells. So that is 1 or 9, weirdly. It would be useful, I think, to know which one it was. Oh, right, this line has got a 1 on. So, its remaining digits are 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7 to keep the Renban theme working. Those ones can't be 4. These ones can't be 2 by the King's Move rule. Can that be a 2? Yes. 4 must be in one of those two cells, so that can't be a 4 by the King's Move rule. 
Oh, this digit sees all the cells on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Ren band. So that is 8 or 9. Now, if it was 8, it would force this line to also be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because you couldn't put an 8 on it. If it's 9, this line still can't obviously have a 9 on it. So I think this line, even though it's only seven cells long, it must have a two somewhere. I don't know how to mark that. I might just have to remember it. Oh, this cell is two or four. Ah, and where does... Oh, that's beautiful. Where does this two or four... That worked perfectly with the deduction I just made. I've just worked out that two has to be on this line because of this cell. And 4 always had to be on it. So where does this cell go on this line? Not in those cells, so it must go here. So those two are the same. I'm going to briefly purple them. I don't really need the red around these anymore. I used that. Um, yeah, sometimes the short ren bands are the most helpful, certainly when you get an actual digit on them. Otherwise, it's the longer ones that are more helpful, I think. Now, this line doesn't have a 3 on it, or whatever the purple digit is. But it could be 4, 5, 6, and it could be 7, 8, 9, so it doesn't get me very far. Ah, I've just noticed this line does not have a 1 on it because that can't be a 1 now, and we've got those two 1s in position. So, this is a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 line, and that cell is a 9, which sees all the cells on that line. Now, these are from 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's just pencil mark all of that in, because it might come useful at some point. Hmm, yeah, I don't know about these. Right, but this is a very interesting puzzle. It maintains its intrigue, I think. Now, Bobbins, what's next? Um, we got six down to one of those, so that's not a six. Two. Does this line definitely have a two on? Yes, it's an eight cell line. The two is somewhere in one of those cells, so that's not a two. This is this is the piece by piece method of attacking this puzzle. It's not really very helpful, I don't think. So I need to find something a bit cleverer. How are we doing on... We've done all the threes. Let's see, we've got a few twos, only three of them in the grid. Mind you, that's going to put the two in column nine in one of those cells. If these purple ones... Oh, look, there's a four looking down at purple. Purple is two. I hadn't seen that. So let's get rid of the colour purple. Not as a movie, it's brilliant. But that places two on this line as well, in that cell. Now how am I doing for twos? I've suddenly got six of them in the grid. I need one on this line. This is now a two-four pair. And the corollary is this is a five, six, seven triple. We've got an equals sign, so that's five, six, or seven as well. Now let's have another look at twos. We've got twos to place in column six, where it's confined to two cells, column nine, where it's confined to two cells, and column one, where it can't be there or there. So this is a two. And that's going to fix all our twos. It's going to give us a four on that central line. It's going to give us a six in column one. This is very clever. Those can't be sixes. That I'm going to take out the pencil marking. I mean, I've done too much pencil marking here. I now, I now see that and regret it for my sins. We've finished off twos, haven't we? We've got all nine in. How are we doing on ones? Ooh, terribly. Terribly, but... 
Well, I'm about to announce that there is a 1 in one of those two cells. Those are the only two places it can be in row 7, because if you were to put a 1 on this line, you'd need to put a 2 on it, and we can't be doing that. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting, though. If this was the place for 1 in row 7, then the place for 1 in row 8 would be here. Otherwise, this is 1. So 1 is now confined to one of those two cells in column 6. It doesn't... It doesn't oh, look, where, where does 1 go in this column? In fact, I can fill in not only 1... But also, that is where 8 goes. Gosh, that's a good column. And that 1 I got down at the bottom, use the king's move rule, suddenly I can place a 1 in the spotlight. Now I've got the five rightmost 1s done. Where does the 1 go in column 4, in one of those two positions? There's a, ah, there's a 1 in row 8 that can't be on this line, which now has a 1 on. So 1 in row 8 is there. Now this line doesn't have a 9 on. And there must be a 9 in one of those three cells, and therefore not there. That's not all that helpful. Keep going on 1s, because, oh yeah, that 1 makes this a 9. That means there is a 1 on this line, and it's got to be in one of those three. So what have we got now? We've got the bottom five ones. We need the ones in rows two, three, and four doing. Oh, but they've got to be confined within this three by three area. Now, I suspect we are not going to get that done unless we make them the touching digit. Yes, if you were to put a one there, you'd have to have a one there and there'd be nowhere for a one in this column. So one is going to be the touching digit there and also in row 2, column 2. And that's all the 1's done. So we've done 1's, we've done 2's, we've done 3's. 4 is naturally the next number, but we haven't got many done. Oh, I can do 4 on this line now. That's probably been available for a little while. That 4 tells me this is 9. That gives me 8 here, uh, which I could have got from seeing that that was a 5, 6, 7, triple. These two are 5 and 7. Right, I'm taking out all of the pencil marks because it's just too much to actually use. This cell, though, can't be 5, 7, or 9, 2, 1, or 3. Mm, so it's 4, 6, or 8. That wasn't as exciting as I'd hoped. This line, 3, 2, 6, 1. The other digits on it are 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Not 9. 4, 5, 7, 8. Not 9. So um, I'm going to pencil mark them. They're not actually very helpful, I don't think. 2, 8. Well, oh, that can't be 7 or 8 in the corner. That is 5 or 9 now. This line needs everything but 9 on it. It needs 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What about this? Can't have 1, 2, or 3. Don't quite know yet. Yeah, this might be where the puzzle begins to get very fiddly. We'll, we'll see. I mean, it really hasn't been, to be fair, so far. Oh, 9 can't be in those cells. That one also can't be 8. So 9 is in one of these three. Let's have a look at 9s. We've only got 3 marked. Oh, I can nearly do 9 in row 4, but there are two possible places. Nines. Ah, this line. No, it doesn't need a nine. It specifically doesn't have a nine on. Because of that. Oh, there's only one place for seven on this line now. Since that one became unable to be seven because there's a pair. Yes. Okay, so we get that. This is not five in the equals sign. 
that's not five at the top of the grid. Three, two, four, five, one. This isn't seven. These are four, five, six, and eight in some happy order. Yeah, this is the part where you can see something that I can do next, and I'm, it's going to take me a while to spot it. Okay, those can't be seven, I can now see. So one of those three is a seven. Ah, this digit has to be, whatever that is, let's go blue, that has to be on this line somewhere. And given those positions, it has to be there. So that is six or seven. Now, where would it be in the top row? If it's seven, it could be there or there. If it's six, it's going to be there, I think. And in this row, if it's this column, I mean, if it's seven there, otherwise six in one of those. Ooh, in this column, blue is either seven there or six here. Hmm, it's sort of interesting. Yeah, blue is interesting because there's one blue in one of those cells, but there must be a blue on this line somewhere. So unless it's a seven there, it's a blue that's also in rows eight and nine along with the blue there. Oh, I don't know. Now, I'm slightly missing the point again, I think, on this. Let me, let me just try and find something else that's useful. That's a five, six, seven, triple, so's that. Does that mean this can't be any of those digits? In which case it would have to be eight. No, I don't think so. I can't see a reason why it has to be. One of those two is five for definite. Again, it's close to producing something I can use to, to make progress, but doesn't quite do it. Right, I need to find something, something different, something interesting. Oh, come on. This is, oh, nine doesn't appear on this line anywhere. Yes, so nine in this row has to be on this line. That is very useful. That makes it a 987 triple. That can't be 8 by King's move. So 8 also can't be in those cells. This is 4, 5, or 6. Can't be 6, so it's 4 or 5. Now, this can't be any of those three, 9, 8, or 7. It can't be 1, 2, or 3. So that is 4, 5, or 6. 7 is in one of these two cells on this line now. Eight It's probably in one of those two, but it could also be here. Um. Oh, bother. Uh, six, one, three, two. So how can I use this seven, eight, nine triple a bit more? Maybe I can't. That's very annoying. I thought that was perhaps going to be the key to unlocking everything. Um, no, a bit stuck there now. So what else can we find? Three, two, one, four. Sorry if there's something obvious. It just isn't obvious to me. Keep going on blues? I don't know. Let's let's do something. So blue's in one of those cells. And one of these three. But I don't know whether blue is seven or six. It must also be in one of these three. Because that and that can't be from six or seven. Um, it's getting interesting. 
No, blue must be in one of those two in the row. Is that telling me this can't be a 6-7 pair? I don't think it actually is. And I don't think it would really help if I knew it was. Uh, no, I don't quite have that going on. Ah, come on, we were getting so close now. One, two, three, seven. So nine in this row. Ah, nine is not on this line. Yes, I can do nine in row eight. Because nine is not on this eight cell line which has a one on it. So nine is there. Um, so that's not a nine. It's seven or eight. This is also six, seven or eight. Is that not really going to do anything else at all? Probably isn't. It's just a deduction waiting to be done. So these two... Uh, one of them might appear there, but they could be in those. Well, yeah. Those two are from four, five, six, and eight. Along with seven, they go in those three cells. One of those two is a six in this row. So those on the same line don't have a six. And in this row, one of those two does have a six. And one of those two has a six in row five. So let's just mark up the sixes now. Mm, in the bottom row, that leaves me two places for sixes. And there's one here. Ah, it kind of falls apart. There's one in those cells. One somewhere in this box. Oh, bother. Thought I was on to something useful. Anyway, the fact that there's a six in one of those two positions on this line means that's not a six. So in fact, then, in this column, I've got a seven, eight pair, and blue is a six. Well, that's got a bit interesting. I can do a little bit more blue colouring then. That is not blue. That's not blue. So blue is down here and is six in the corner. Keeping its religion all day long. Um, that's not blue. So, this is the only place for six in this row now. It can't be here next to the other six. Yes. So, let's just keep going with sixes. That is seven or nine. I don't believe either of those is a six. That can't be six. This is the only place for six in the row. And that must be the last six in the grid. Bingo. And this one isn't a six. Knowledge bomb. Right. Let's get rid of all the colouring again because we've done it for sixes. Now, that's a five, seven pair. That's also a five, seven pair. Um... That's a 4-5 pair on the line, so this is now a 7-8 pair in the bottom row. And that's a 4-5-9 triple, in which that one can't be 9. So now I've got a 4-5-9 pair in column 1. That can't be 4 or 5, that can't. That's now a 7-8 pair. This is a 4-5 pair, and that makes this a 7. We get 5 there. That can't, that can't be 4 or 5, so that's 9, that's 8. Now we've got another 4, 5 pair. So in this column, we've got 7, 8 and 9 to place. 8 is on this um, tiny Renban, and it's also in that pair. So nothing else in these two rows can have an 8. That's used up the two 8s in the rows by X-Wing. So there's no 8 in those cells. This one becomes a 7 automatically. 8, 7, 8. That must be 9. 5 in the corner. 9 and 4 are still to place in the final row. None of these can be a 6 now. What else can't they be? That is 5, 7, triple pair. I mean, resolved. That can't be a 5. This can't be a 7. Have we got... Seven on this line, we have. How are we doing for sevens? We've got the five right-hand ones, the two left-hand ones, and then we're going to have to put them 
here and here. And that is going to help finish off a couple of these Ren bands. That 9, I don't know. Oh, we're very close now. Come on. Four, five pair there, not resolved. This is the last, an eye wing. The last cell in its column is an eight. This is the last cell in the uh, spotlight of this puzzle. Uh, nine can't be there. We've got a weird X wing of nines. In fact, this is my last cell to pencil mark. I'm going to put four, I was going to put four, five, eight in it, but I've just spotted it sees that eight. So now we've got a four, five pair in the row. That's eight. This isn't. The eight on this line is there. That's probably finished off all the eights in the grid. Just got a few four, five, nines to unwind, and we are donezos. Um, wouldn't you know it, Marty's probably put something very clever in to finish with, or am I just missing something? Don't think there's... A, well, we have to keep the Ren bands apart. Am I missing one King's move somewhere? It feels like I am. One of those is a nine. One of those is a five. Actually, no, it's probably... Yes. Oh, that's lovely. One of these is a four on this Renban, and both of those cells see this one, either by King's Move or Sudoku. So that's nine, and that is going to finish us off. Five, four, nine, five, four. Yes, we can look down here now, get four, five, four, five, five there, and a four in the corner. There are no threes in the corner. There are no threes in the spotlight. We have retained our religion. And that is a beautiful puzzle, actually. I thought that would be even more fiddly towards the end. And that's kind of a measure of Marty's genius, that he's kept a puzzle without regions um, working so well. I wonder if we could make regions. I'm not going to bother trying dividing up this grid into regions. I expect you could do it probably fairly easily if you want to do it. Just made the puzzle far easier and it was a really good level of difficulty as it was. Thanks very much to Marty. Thank you you guys for watching as always. Hope to see you soon on the channel. Bye for now.